So I filmed just a few exercises from this recent back day, but I wanted to focus on the one arm dumbbell row for a moment. So in the past, you guys have likely seen me perform this exercise with a staggered stance or chest supported on a bench. But here, as you can see, my hips are more square and my feet are about shoulder width apart. So with my core engaged, my back nice and straight, I am getting that full stretch at the bottom and then pulling the dumbbell up into sort of my hip crease. So I don't necessarily think one is better than the other. I think it's good to switch up the variations of exercises once in a while. All of our body mechanics are so different. So something might hit for you and you might get a way better contraction versus a different variation just in terms of having your feet in a slightly different position. Something as small as that really can make a big difference. So I encourage you to try out these different variations just to see how it feels. Okay, I've been seeing a lot of discourse surrounding face pulls recently, and I just want to add in my two cents. I don't think they are the best exercise for rear delts, but I do think that they are good for shoulder health and stability. So I do think they are worth adding in for me on this day. It made sense with my back workout, so I just did about three sets of 15 and then moved on to a close grip pull down. I'm really focusing on controlling the weight as it goes back up. And then I'm almost moving as if my body is a pendulum. So I'm not pausing. I'm very fluid with every single rep, just taking my time and feeling that full range of motion. Really important to get that full stretch at the top of the movement and then think about driving through the elbows as you pull that attachment down toward your chest. So by thinking of the elbows here and pulling that weight down through the elbows, you're going to get more lat engagement versus pulling with your biceps. Okay, I wanna do an updated home gym tour just really quick. So I got rid of my treadmill, which was right behind me. It was just not serving me anymore. I've been running outside and then this fall, I'm hoping to get a Peloton treadmill. It was great while I had it, but I got rid of it. And so then pushed the Peloton bike up against the wall and I feel like there's just so much more room. I will just start in this section because this is where the treadmill was. So the Peloton bike was here-ish, right kind of where that yoga mat is. And then the treadmill was up against the wall. So now the treadmill's gone. You've got all this space that wasn't there before, which I absolutely love. And then, I don't know if I ever showed this on YouTube, but this was a Christmas gift. It's from my last show and it's just great motivation. I need more stuff still for the walls though, like right there. I really need something really cool right there. So we have this huge window, which is awesome because I always open it and the natural light that comes in is so good. And I don't ever show this side because that is just a partition that I had to put up when I was filming exercises for a workout program forever ago and I just left it there. <laughs> that big Titan box has admittedly become a bit of a catch all. So this is a spot where I wanna do something different. I feel like I could organize this stuff a lot better. So I have like a little squat wedge, ab wheel, and then a bunch of hip thrust pads, belts, bands, all that stuff. So it kind of just sits in those two things. So I don't love this situation. So I always film kind of this way. Yeah, that's better, right? You guys have any ideas that would be like more aesthetic? Let me know, cause this is not working for me. So we have the lat pull down, of course. And by the way, this stuff, so good. So good, Whole Foods. The plates, I do wanna get more plates as well. And then the squat rack, little Bulgarian split squat thing over there. 
little box, bench, dumbbells. I eventually went and get a new rack of dumbbells as well. And then you have the Peloton here, the little corner that I don't like, tripod for this camera, the cable tower, all the different attachments as well. I wanna get new attachments too, so I have quite a list of things that I need to get, but I have the rope down there, wide grip, close grip, and then the individual handles. And that's pretty much it. It's something that I look forward to every day. I really just love being down here, playing music, getting in my zone. It makes me so happy. And of course, when it's like fresh and clean like this, it's the best. So I will update you guys along the way when I get some different stuff going on in terms of for the walls and different equipment and different organizational things. But yeah, if you have any ideas that you think would help, let me know. Oh, that's dangerous. Okay, I posted this on my Instagram story last week. It is an acupressure mat, and it's supposed to sort of mimic acupuncture. I know it's not the same. I did some reading up on it, and I know that jury's out on if these are actually legitimately good or if it's just like a placebo because I did read that people have had good experiences with these and I posted it on Instagram so I could ask you guys and a lot of people messaged me and said that they do enjoy these and when I first got this it said that the best time to use it was like pre-workout or post-workout or like before bed. I don't know if it's placebo but I really enjoyed using it so I'm gonna use it on a consistent basis and just see if I notice any benefits. My friend Kate said that she, she said the same thing. She's like, I don't know if it's like placebo, but I sleep good at night when I like lay on one of these. So I'm gonna test it out, but if you guys have ever tried one of these acupressure mats, let me know your experience down in the comments, or if you do acupuncture. I'm definitely interested in trying that. I've never tried it before. I've just been laying on this for anywhere between like 10 to 20 minutes, and the first like two minutes are a little bit uncomfy, and then after that you pretty much just like get used to it. I don't know if you just like go numb or what, and then you look like a crazy snake when you get off. So it's pretty cool, I'll show you. I just finished training legs. I had such a good dumbbell only leg day. I did film it, so maybe I'll put it on TikTok. I'm getting ready to cook dinner and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm cooking. This is an absolute staple for me when it comes to healthy, high protein, nutrient dense dinner ideas. Let me move, let me move. Ugh. I eat this meal every single week and I never get sick of it, so of course I'm gonna show you. It takes probably 10 minutes. It's the perfect meal for meal prepping for the next day. You can make a large portion of it at once. It's basically just a big bowl of ground turkey, rice, and veggies, and of course some seasonings and some condiments that make it just that much better. Stay tuned if you wanna see what I eat for dinner on a weekly basis. Trust me, it's so good. So I'm just gonna use this 93.7 ground turkey. But obviously you could do this with the ground beef, with bison, chicken. I'm mixing together peas and corn. This is gonna go in the microwave. Oh! Adding a little bit of water before these go in the microwave. These are all the seasonings I'm gonna use for the turkey. And then I'm also gonna add sriracha to the turkey as well while it's in the pan and some minced garlic. I've also been adding turmeric powder to my ground turkey as well, so I'm going to add a serving of that. The peas and corn are done, so now I'm gonna throw some jasmine rice in the microwave. And then we're basically done, we just have to mix it all together. So this is what we're working with, and honestly, I could eat it just like this, but I'm gonna add something that's just gonna take it to the next level. It's so good, I am addicted to this meal because of this kale pesto sauce from Trader Joe's.
It looks like such a hot mess when you mix it all together, but I promise it's fire. I just love a big bowl of stuff. You can't go wrong.